Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a room, is, no it's not a room tour, you ain't gonna see all that yet. It is a desk tour and so let's just get started. Today's video will be a desk tour with a couple of tips on how to get an A on your midterms because I just had my midterms and I, I'm not trying to brag or anything but I got an A so I'm pretty proud of myself okay so I'm gonna show you guys all the steps on how I studied and prepared for that so first things first on my desk we have my pens so this is like pens calligraphy pens pencils mechanical pencils scissors you know all that fun stuff. Then over here, I have some paper clips and some lip gloss because my lips, okay, I'm not gonna lie, they be dry sometimes, so I gotta moisturize that, you know? So yeah. Over here, I have some books and my blue light glasses. These I wear to protect myself, my eyes from the, you know, computer because I look at it so much when I'm doing my work. And then these books over here, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, that's for the tips. So, here I have my heart and joy, my computer. She's still sweet. I mean, I need to clean her off, like, a lot, but she's sweet. Um, this is the keyboard that I use. Uh, I don't use it a lot, but I'm trying to use it more because this is the one she came with. Um, not gonna lie, she's a little small. <laughs> so, yeah, we need some, we need some space. I need, I need to... There's also that. Then over here, I just have this random sheet of paper because this doesn't, my mouse doesn't work on this surface, so I have to put on a sheet of paper or something. So, and then right here, I just have this folder thing which has um, books that I was using to do, you know, homework or whatever, or books that I just have lying around. And I don't feel like putting it in my locker because in this household we all have lockers because that's a thing yeah I'm also wearing my school uniform I want to see it okay yeah you know I'm sure you've seen it before um this is not the full thing because I'm not supposed to wear in the shirt but you know whatever it's fine next I have these two drawers here and honey they're kind of messy I just have a whole bunch of random stuff in them so, yeah, I should probably clean this out someday, but not today, not today. Then here in the lower level of my desk area, I have this bad boy printer, okay? I've never had a printer in my room before, but when this thing, when Mr. When Mr. P came into my room, it was a blessing. Let me tell you, from the bottom of my heart, it was a blessing. But the, the, there's a downside. Everybody keeps coming to my room when they print something, so. Now let's move to the upper level of my desk area. Right here, my schnookums, my baby. <laughs> it's my plants. I have to move her around a lot because she doesn't like being in one place. Because when baby is in one place, baby gets upset and starts drooping. So <laughs> mommy here, okay, has to take her and put her up there and just move her around. Sometimes she's in the bathroom, sometimes she's on the windowsill, sometimes she's on my desk, and sometimes she's up there, as in sometimes right now. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of a drama queen, but it's okay. Um, next, I just have that little uh, notes thing um, that I just put up whenever I need to put any notes that I need to remember, so I just stick it up there. There's like a little piece of a uh, wall, tacky, I don't know what you want to call that. That's just um, making sure it stays up. Next, I have this mini wreath. Um, that's because it's Christmas time. I mean, dar. Um, but I do love my wreath. Um, I just stole it from Ma, so I didn't buy it or anything. It was just lying around the house, so I stole it and put it up here. It's cute. Next, I have this little sailor hat for some reason. We got it from, I don't know, when we went on a boat thing. I don't know, memories, I guess. And last thing, I have some 
lights because they're pretty they twinkle at i put them on at night and it's cute and it's christmasy so why not so yeah that's everything at my desk there's not much to it really but i did just want to show you guys because i thought why not <laughs> and so now a couple of tips to help you guys on your exams midterms if you have any or just to help you study for something in general like languages if you <laughs> are geek like me <laughs> there's a thing on youtube and that can distract you but it can also help you youtube can be a friend if you know what you're doing go to the youtube channel called crash course and they have everything i'm sure you've heard of it i'm sure it's not your first time okay but use it in a specific way use it to not teach you it to review it okay so that you're going through it and you're also looking at your notes and you are putting two things together and connecting the dots okay that's my second tip make sure you're connecting dots when you're looking at your notes you're not just reading over them and just saying yeah okay i want you to be sure that you're connecting the dots like oh this happened and then another chapter what chapter what no in another chapter something else happened and you're like oh these happened because of the same thing now you can remember that it's easier there you go bada bing bada boom okay my third tip practice questions those things can save your life um so make sure you go online and try to find some practice questions for me i just used a website that went along with my chemistry and then i saw that it had a whole bunch of other uh courses as well so it had like history, it had English, it had blah, 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 blah. So I just used those practice questions that went along with the crash course videos. And bada bing, bada boom, here I am being smart. Okay, just living my best life. My fourth tip is to make sure that you go back on your old quizzes and tests and see what you got wrong and try to find the right answer, okay? That would have gotten me a 100 because there are some questions that are like, oh yes, I should look up what the answer to this is right now so that I will remember what the answer is just so I know what the answer to that question was. I forgot to do that and those same questions were on my midterm exam and I got them wrong. I mean, at the very least, because I looked over them, one answer exit out for all of them because I knew that that's the answer I picked last time I got wrong. But, you know, I just, if I would have went back in my notes and figured out those, the answers to those questions, that was my fourth tip. No? Yes? I don't know. And my fifth and final tip is for AP exams. Make sure that you get yourself a book because if you don't, you're going to be struggling. And pop out some lo-fi music while you're doing that, girl, because it gets you in the mood, you know? And once you are in the mood, you stay in the mood and it helps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these tips. If you did, please let me know and give me a thumbs up, please. And subscribe because why not? Why not, girl? It's this. You know, give a little, give a little something to me. You know, give a little something to <laughs> Please. And share this video with your friends and family if you want to. You don't have to. I'm not forcing you. Listen, do what you want. It's 2020. So that's the end. Bye! I'm so happy, I'm so happy!